Hey y'all, Coach Emmett Fight here on part four of our mini series on the three testaments of the Bible, the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the book from which this class comes out of, that is the third testament of the Bible. And in this series, we're showing why there is a third testament or why there are three testaments to our Bible, where the third testament comes from, who wrote it, why it was written, how is it part of our spiritual evolution and our father's plan for us? And in this video, we're starting to get into the facts behind why some are rejecting this scripture, why they're having a hard time finding truth in it here in this section. And in the next video or two, we're going to go into great detail on why that is. So let's jump right into it. Looking here at verse 28, which says, Today, I say to you again, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And if you look for the essence of my word in this era, you will find it in the eternal law of love, that same pathway which I outlined for you on earth. Talking about our Messiah and the time that he was walking around down here with us. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And that pathway that he was talking about was and is the eternal law of love, love for our father and love for our brother. Verse 29 says, many believe that Christ had come mistaking the path and altering the law. That is why they fought against him and persecuted him. But the truth, like the light of the sun, always imposes itself over the darkness. Now my word will again be combated because there shall be some who believe they have found contradictions, confusions, and error in its essence. But its light will again shine in the darkness of this error, and humanity shall see that the way and the law which I have revealed to you is the same of that error and will always be the same. In other words, here we go again. The same as before when our Messiah came to the earth and walked around amongst humanity, there were those who accused him for being off track, for mistaking the path. There were people, just like there are now, telling the Messiah to his face that he didn't know what he was talking about and that he was altering the law. They're doing the same thing with the Third Testament of the Bible. This is why many people are outwardly rejecting the Third Testament of the Bible. This is why they're fighting against the Third Testament now. They're actually still persecuting our Messiah the same way they did before. But the truth will always outshadow the darkness. See, the reason why they're doing this, like it says here, is because they believe they've found contradictions, confusions, and errors in the essence of this word. But there are none. The only contradictions that they can find is with what they've learned from man. See, a lot of these people spend way more time reading about the scripture instead of reading the scripture. In other words, they read books by popular preachers or they read sermons or they read articles about the Bible without actually reading the scripture itself. And then when they actually pick up the scripture, they actually find flaws in it. They did the same thing with the Old Testament and the New Testament. That's why you don't hear them talking about books like Second Peter or Jude or Malachi or Deuteronomy or Leviticus. Books that actually spell out our father's plan for our lives clearly and concisely. They never want to talk about those books because they too contradict what man has to say. And instead of being willing to forsake their understanding and what they've learned outside of the scripture, the first thing that they want to do is to combat the scripture, actually blaspheme the word of God because it doesn't agree with what they feel, think, and believe. But let me be the first to tell you that there are no errors in this book. There are no contradictions. I've read every word in the Old Testament of the Bible. I've read every word in the New Testament of the Bible, every jot, every tittle, at least three times. And there are actually zero 
contradictions in the third testament of the Bible. There are none. There may be some translation errors, being that the original document was written in Spanish. But other than that, the third testament is 100% accurate, 100% truthful with zero contradictions. And it's shining light on the darkness of this era, with this darkness being created by those who took it upon themselves to actually fill in the blanks or just flat out make up stuff when reading the Old Testament and the New Testament. And anybody who cares to read it, like I said, people are quick to read about the Bible more so than they are to read the Bible. But when you actually start to read it for yourself, you're going to find that it actually is saying the same thing as the Old Testament and the New Testament is just speaking to us on an elevated level. This is the third stage or the third era of our spiritual evolution. And that's why we needed the third testament of the Bible, which you can find a link to it in the description of this video. And here you see more classes coming out of the third testament popping up on your screen now. And you can also find other videos from this series. But before you go, please leave us a comment below and pray for us. Shalom.